So my camera keeps turning off because my computer keeps overheating. Lovely times, right? I know. If you like the hair and makeup I did in this video, feel free to comment below. I, I tested out a new lip color and I thought it would be fun to film a video with. So this is going to be my state board experience. Uh, if you don't know and you haven't watched my videos, I was going to school for cosmetology, which if you don't know what state board is, um, or what cosmetology is. Cosmetology, basically, you are certified to do nails, makeup, hair, um, waxing, skincare, you can do it all. What state board is, is your, it's like your diploma. So it's only one that really matters. Um, so you, what state board consists of is two things. It's a written and a practical. So it's hands-on, it's showing you know what you're doing, and then um, a written exam, which shows you know the information. The written exam is 110 points, and you can miss, I think, like 40 questions. Um, it's around there that you can miss. You can miss quite a few. And then um, the practical, I believe, was around 300 points, and you can miss about 75. So um, you kind of had room for error. It was the most stressful day of my life. <laughs> I'm trying not to ramble too much, but basically it was really, really crazy. So um, I prepared through my school for state board, and I felt pretty prepared. I'm really good at test taking. I've always been good at test taking. So if you are getting your license and you feel like, oh, I really need to work on the test, study. Um, I studied with the Milady book, and I studied with Salon Fundamentals. My school did Salon Fundamentals, which is a pivot point book. But I really liked the Milady book a little better with my test. Honestly, I don't know if even studying helped. It was just a lot of common sense stuff. I just didn't think I failed when I took that one. So practical. I studied through my school for that one. Also, so basically, I'm going to run quickly through the state board procedure just so you guys know what happened in the practical. And my written, I'm going to try to be not so talkative because it's going to turn off. Um, basically, in the state board procedure, we do a... You would disinfect your station first, make sure you do that, it's really important. And then you would set up whatnot. Then we did a blow dry, thermal, haircut, perm, color service, relaxer service, manicure, acrylic nail, and a facial. So you do all of that stuff, or it could be facial or waxing and tweezing. Usually, for the most part, they do the Facial, just because with the waxing and tweezing, they have to walk around to everybody. So it's a little easier if they obviously aren't walking around to you individually, and I think the facial is easier. I thought the practical was really hard in some areas. I've been practicing this for so long, it shouldn't have been hard. This was my nerves. I mean, my nerves got to me, so just make sure to relax. You're going to do okay. It tells you not to clean up yet. Don't clean up yet. After the perm, we, she takes out some perm rods to check them. At least that's what happened in my experience. Every time she gives you something, you can put it in this um, soiled container and then sanitize your hands. But I started cleaning up because if I just for some reason thought, oh, well, she gave me back my stuff, I can start cleaning up. She turned around and she's like, stop cleaning up. Wait until you're instructed to do so. And I was like, oh my god, heart dropped. Thought I failed. I thought, like, for sure I failed. So there was a lot of mistakes I made, and it's okay. Mistakes are not horrible as long as you fix them. Like, I forgot to do barrier cream at one point, which is, like, protecting the hairline. And I went back and I did it for the next service just to make sure I did it. I dropped something. I made sure to pick it up, put it in the soiled container, sanitize my hands, and continue. The drape on my doll head kept falling off, so I had to keep on checking that. There was a lot of things that went wrong with my state board test, so I thought for sure with the practical I failed. But I think she knew I knew what I was doing. At one point, she even laughed at me just because I was in such an uncomfortable position with what I was doing. And even just looking around, there was a lot of mistakes I found with a lot of the other girls. And I'm sure the same thing happened with me. They were telling me, oh, yeah, this one girl was messing. I feel bad. One of the girls next to me, she was doing something really incorrectly. And, you know, you can't say anything to them. Obviously, you can't talk. So also the, during the practical, um, basically how it was mapped out for me was we did everything up to the perm. Once we were done with the perm, we left for 15 minutes. I honestly didn't leave. I just sat in the room. I was, like, stressed out, and I talked to no one because I was so depressed that I thought I failed. And then you go back in, and then you finish the whole thing. And at the end, you pack away all your stuff, and she's still grading you. So make sure that you are sanitary about everything. Wipe down your station with the disinfectant, all that stuff. You, It's all about sanitation and how client protection. So if anything, if you're doing something, you don't finish something, it's okay. I finished everything, so I'm pretty lucky. I didn't, 
except for the manicure I messed up a little bit on, but I finished everything. But there was a lot of girls that didn't finish things and they passed. So um, don't worry if you don't finish something as long as you're being safe and sanitary and you are doing it correctly you'll be okay. That was the practical. After the practical's done, you have a certain time to be back for your written exam. To be back at 1230. It was probably like 11 or something. I don't even remember the time, but because my phone was dead, it was in my car. So I went in my car. I literally was praying to God that I passed. It was really funny. I was actually really upset and I was praying that I passed. Um, I was like, okay, I don't want to sit in here any longer. So I grabbed my water because I was really hydrated and I went upstairs and it was not even 12... It was probably like 11.40 or something, and my test was scheduled at 12.30, and they're like, do you want to take your test now? I'm like, okay. So I took the written. The written wasn't hard. It was on a computer. They show you a quick tutorial on it. It wasn't bad for me, but I know a lot of people that don't pass it, so I would definitely say study your stuff. But the girls that I met that day thought were really stressed out about the written over the practical, while I was really stressed out about the practical. So after that, we had a huge break. I was done after like 20 minutes with the test. There's a lot of words I didn't know. And there was a lot of um, things I was kind of unsure of, but for the most part, I think it was pretty simple. And after that, and then I was like, okay, I need to distract myself. So I went to Subway. Um, it's right by the Glendale location, which is the one I went to. And then I actually met up with a couple of the girls, um, and we all ended up talking. And, I mean, it was nice to know I was in the same boat as these girls. It was the most nerve-wracking thing was waiting. The time between everything was horrible. Two hours, and then we were supposed to be back at 1.45. We got back there, I think, at like 1, 1 o'clock. We were just sitting in this room, and 1.45 rolls by. Still no results. 2 o'clock rolls by. I think that's when they finally started announcing people, and how it's set up is they'll just call off the people who pass. It's in no particular order, so you could be at the end of the list and, you know, just being stressed out the whole time. My heart was in my stomach. People thought I was about to cry. I probably would have cried. So, luckily, my name was, like, in the middle, so and then they called my name, and everyone's like, oh my god, we're so happy for you. I'm like, oh my god, I passed. After that, I was on cloud nine. I was so happy. I was so excited that I never have to take that test again. Literally all you do is sign this little name, signature next to your name, you don't even sign the paper there, you take it home. You take your picture when you're taking your written, I forgot about that too. I had my hair down, my picture's ugly, you can look on Instagram if you want. So it just shows you that you can make a ton of mistakes, don't stress out too much. That was my skateboard experience. I am now a licensed cosmetologist. I'm ready for the world, and I am really, really excited. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will let you know. If any of the people that I met that day have a YouTube, feel free to comment below, too. I'd love to subscribe to you. You guys were really cool. Any requests, anything, let me know. I will be doing a tutorial probably this week or next week, and then I'm also going thrift store shopping woo, on Sunday. So, yeah, there will be a video, too. As always, love you guys. Bye.